Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Aquarius. Aquarius, just a friendly reminder that I am open for private reading. So if you are after one, I have the links down below in the description box. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Aquarius for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Aquarius, please. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Your person showing up as the King of Pentacles. They're viewing, viewing you as the Seven of Wands, okay? And their true intentions towards you are the Ten of Wands in reverse. They need to get something off their chest or they want a fresh start. Your advice here, though, is the Three of Swords, that you do need to get to the heart of the matter. I think a lot of my Aquarius, you're feeling defensive because it looks like this person may not have been giving much to this connection. And I feel like this has been quite emotionally draining for you or you're worried about some sort of third party here. We do see the Star card coming out in reverse, which tells me that I feel this has really kind of turned you upside down. And I'm seeing her, you know, now she's jumped into this pool, she's bathing, she's doing the self-love, the self-care. I feel like you've realized that you really need to look after yourself here within this connection. And I, I feel like you've put your defenses up here because there's something here that's making you feel uncomfortable or possibly not trusting this. So with the Queen of Cups showing up in reverse, some of you, there's you're worried about a third party, possibly an ex, or you're just feeling really emotionally drained here with this connection. Yeah, this person, it's like things weren't moving forward or you felt like they weren't putting in the work. And yeah, you're seeing clearly that I think you've cut this person off or you've made a decision. Maybe you told this person off. The King of Pentacles in reverse tells me this person might have financial issues, health issues here. But more so, I just feel like they've been lazy. They weren't generous with their time, their energy, their love, their money, their resources. And quite frankly, you don't need that Aquarius. And we see hanged man. Yeah, like this person wasn't doing the work. They were lazy with you. Maybe they you felt like you had your life on hold here and the emperor, but you see the potential here, possibly in Aries. Maybe some of you, this was your boss, but I'm actually getting that this person, they, they do want to step up. Um, they're, they're definitely taking a look at what you've said to them. Some of my aquas, you really told this person off is what I'm getting, or you gave, you know, yeah, I feel like you cut them off. You told them off. With the seven of uh, seven of wands here, you're very defensive, and I feel like you have every right to defend your energy because there was something off here. They see you as moving on, okay? They know that you've been disappointed, but they still do think that they can save this, or you know, like they're seeing that you do make them happy. So I do think that they're going to try to step up here. They're going to get something off their chest. They're going to tell you the truth. They do want some sort of passionate renewal or beginning here. Yep, they're going to make you some sort of offer, but we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. But for some of you, you're going to feel emotionally manipulated by this offer. Now, it might be like, whoa, it's too little, too late. Or they might buy you something like, you know, like something that they know that you really like, but I feel like some of you, you're like, yeah, like you're doing it now after I've told you off, after I've moved on. Um, you know, like I feel like you don't have hope or faith in this connection. Spirit saying the three of swords, you have been disappointed. Some of you, this person did cheat or had you in some sort of third party. Okay. And yeah, the king of wands in reverse spirit saying you have every right to be triggered and to move away from this. The three of wands situation, this connection was blocked Aquarius and the seven of pentacles. This connection has come to an end. And if you're having a hard time seeing a future with this person, there's a reason for that. Okay. So let's see what else we need to know. We have really strong Leo. We have strong Aries energy. Okay. Really strong fire. We also have Aquarius, but I feel that's just your energy. What else do we need to know about this person for my aquas? Uh, we have they're sophisticated. Okay, so I do feel like this person looks really good on paper. They're probably quite charming. They come off as quite sophisticated. But I, I think when you scratch the surface, that may not be the case. They may have fair or light features, or there may have been this queen of cups might have been somebody with fair or light features that they cheated with, or, you know, that was getting in, that was interfering. This person may be a morning person. 
Okay. And we do get spiritual, but it's in reverse. Some of you, you're not really trusting what they say about spirituality or their connection to the divine. Some of you, I just think you feel they're bullshitting you. It's kind of the energy I'm getting. Hmm, I'd be very careful here with this connection. Uh, I feel this person's a bit of a player. I feel like they either broke your heart or they tried to do you dirty or they put you in a third party situation here. Okay, and we have, yeah, Pioneer Energy. This is my Aquarius card in this deck, and I do feel this has turned you upside down. I feel there's been a tower moment either finding out, out who this person really is or possibly about a third party. There's a compulsive need to keep moving on. So some of you, this person, they're non-committal or they just, they, it's just like they, they don't put in the effort. They don't follow through. Hmm, aquas. All right, and we get exorcist energy, a fear of facing your own demons. Some of you, this person still has a lot of work to do. That's what I'm getting. Some of you, they need to just release toxic patterns. I feel like you've seen through this though, Aqua. That's what I'm seeing though. And I feel like you're like, yeah, I don't really trust this person. I do feel the outcome and the advice is to really keep moving on your path. Yeah, this person has this compromises integrity and honesty, allows an addictive pattern to have authority over their inner spirit. Some of you, maybe they are addicted to something, but more so I just get that this is someone's real, this is their really bad habits. Um, you know, maybe being a player, maybe an ex, um, maybe just, you know, not being able to follow through or, you know, commit to things. And I don't think it's just love. I feel like maybe even they have trouble with like finances because they either overspend or they can't hold down a job or something like that. No, Aquarius, I'm just getting like you are out of this person's league. All right, let's see. You, your intuition already knows. And if you didn't know, if you were thinking there might have been a third party, I feel this is confirmation. Children may have been the third party. So if they have adult children or maybe they have children with an ex, you know, they might have, and, and by no means is there anything wrong with someone prioritizing their children or dependents. I mean, it's absolutely necessary, but I just kind of feel that maybe this person was acting childish or they didn't have any room for you in their life, or they use that as an excuse to never have any money or to like never take you out or, you know, honor your worth and your value basically. But we do see that you've done the work. Abundance is going to flow to you. So a lot of you, I just, I hate to say it. I know it's really harsh, but Aqua's a lot of you. You're just cutting dead weight here. Okay, someone who is holding you back, holding you down. All right, so let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. All right, clear messages, advice, and guidance. Anybody new headed my uh, towards my Aquarius? Anybody new headed towards my Aquarius, please? Okay, we've got a father. Okay, someone who may have one or more children, a blended family may result. This person, if this person that you came to the reading about or that I was picking up on doesn't have children, maybe you do want to have children and they don't. Like I just see this person also doesn't really want to take responsibility for much. This new person may have children or you may end up having children with if that's, you know, in the program. But Traveler, is, this is somebody who enjoys new experiences, places, and people. They might have great stories to tell about their travels. Yeah, but I'm also seeing too, I feel like this past person never had enough money or like didn't want to travel, didn't want to leave, didn't really, I feel like they were a bit of a drag to be honest, Aquas. All right, and this new person is going to be very funny. They're intellectual, they're responsible, and they could be a Taurus or have strong Taurus placements. So again, they're very different than this energy you're leaving behind. Stable, they enjoy aesthetics and comfort as they're ruled by Venus. They're loyal, they're kind, and they can also be stubborn. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Aquarius. Take care.